Hey, dumbass. Where's my food? Where's my tea? I'm gonna make you a sandwich. Let alone a tea? A tea for you? I don't get any respect around here. Can't even make me a damn sandwich. I must have idiot written on my forehead. Who's calling me at this time? Who could it be? Is this Michael? Is this Michael? Congratulations! Congratulations! Your face posted by Instant Timing. Your code! Your code is Shambolic Auto. Share it with everyone! Share it with your friends! Share it with your friends! Share it with everyone! You do need Hey. Stupid and stupider. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, guys, use my affiliate link, and even you can make your stupid sister do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't know what he's going to say. I don't even know if I'm going to have to edit around some of the things he's saying. The title is already crazy. So... Did we watch his last video? We watched... There's, he's made a couple videos. This one is another one that's popped off. Right, it's almost got a million views. So, it was sent over to me. I was like, Mike, please check this video out. It's pretty funny. Make sure Ellie, Ellie's on it. I was like, why? Well, like, she's probably not going to like it. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about the great pussification of video games that has happened the past 20 years. Is it a soy-based diet doing this? Is it the rise of OnlyFans simping doing this? If you have recently had the thought, I wonder what new pumpkin-flavored items Trader Joe's has, be careful, my brother in Christ, you might be gay now. But if there's one thing that is straight as hell, it's the rock-solid video games of the 2000s. Your Gears of War, your Medals of Honor, your Chronicles of Riddick's. These games were masculine as hell, and we want them back, and we're boycotting video games until they come back. I recently saw this disappointing photo of Phil Spencer being pushed out of the photo by two domineering girl bosses who are probably unfulfilled because they're trying to succeed in the corp. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a nitpick. Why is it pushing him out? He's literally just standing there. He's just standing He's there. Just standing. <laughs> Corporate world. Instead of having That's two women too many <laughs> children at home like home like God designed them to. And don't you love Phil's cute little doom shirt like, hey guys, I'm still one of the bros, right? Look, like we can still hang, right? Nah, Phil, you're trash. You got cucked, dude. You're useless. So I have found that there are still people out there who deny the simple fact that games have gone woke, homo, and gay in twenty twenty four. So in this video I'm going Is there is there a difference between homo no. and gay? He just really wanted to emphasize yeah, you really wanted to you are homo and you're gay. <laughs> this video, I'm going to literally prove it to you using science. What we will do is read the back of the box description of six random games from 2024, and then we will read the back of the box descriptions of six random games from the 2000s. Classic science. <laughs> also, what I'm saying is true. he's probably going to speak my language. However. Mm -hmm. He did put up a picture of Dustborn that is anything but random. That game's been under the magnifying glass, as it should be. But, well, I mean, actually, wait. Yeah, okay, the games there are pretty right. I don't know any of those games. Do you know, I know Flock. Flock sounds familiar, but none of the others do. I don't know any of I know all of those games. Creatures of Avon, no. I haven't heard any of these. Yeah, I don't know any of those other ones, so mm. fair enough. thing is true, we should notice a feminization, a pussification, a gayification of video games that has happened the past 20 years. And before you bring up that video games don't have boxes anymore in 2024, calm your tits, you know what I mean. So to find six modern games, I didn't have to look very far. I literally just went to the front page of Xbox Game Pass and found these games. This is clearly what Phil and his team of homos actually expects us men to... What the fuck, dude? How is this guy still operating? I mean, I, I commend his bravery, I really do. But how is he operating in 2024? Villain is a band of homos. <laughs> he, he, this guy is like a, he's like a, it's like, it's like looking into the past. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like being back in 2006. Yeah. yeah. It was just 100%. blood, guts, and titties. <laughs> <laughs> Creatures of Ava, Dungeons of Hinterburg, Flintlock, Siege of Dawn, Flock, Magical Delicacy, and Chia. Now, you might say, Oh, Andrew, you're specifically picking out games aimed at children. 
No, dude, I'm literally just going to the front page of Game Pass, and these are six games featured on the front page of Game Pass. Also, side note, isn't it weird that these pedo developers are always making games aimed at kids? But that's a whole other thing I'm not going to get into right now. That's inflammatory. I mean, look, Sweet Baby Inc. has a lot to say about them. I don't know if I would slap. Okay, I think we're looking at this again from a really weird perspective where what? we are adults, mm. yeah, and we grew up with developers making games for us as children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we are the generation that now are growing up demanding that developers make games for us adults. So that is in itself a unique thing and experience. So he's of course looking at it being like, these developers are making games for kids. It's like, yeah, because that's kind of what they've always did with mm-hmm. us. Like obviously now we're grown up and we're like still into gaming and we still want to play the games that, you know, speak to us. Yeah. But maybe they, like, I'm sorry, but the majority of people playing games are not adults. I think that he worded that really poorly because I think that the games that they're playing, that they're making today, they are objectively doing really poorly. Yeah. They're, we've seen the sales figures on these games that they're bringing out that look like this. They're all tanking. Yeah. It's very rare they do well. So I think he worded it poorly. I think what he should have said is that the games that they were making back then are still the games people want and they're not making that's them. fine to say but i again i just i think we spoke about this in the first video we did when we were kids and games were being made for us they were speaking to us on multiple levels as we were kids growing up you know they had so many different stories to tell because we were such a willing audience to experience stories told in a completely different medium and mm. um, one where we were in the driver's seat and obviously that that magic doesn't fade as we get older but ideally like i think both can exist you can have games that are not made for adults very very obviously because yeah there are kids also growing up in this era that are experiencing video games for the first time and the first game they're going to pick up is not going to be fucking doom you know so Mm. like i just feel like in that in that why do you think it is that when we were growing up, the first games we did pick up were Doom. More because combat. there was like no parental control over any of it. Literally, our parents barely knew what a computer was, mm. let alone the fact that you could play a, a flipping Doom on a floppy disk. Mm. You know, kids, we were the ones that were like growing up with that technology. So we have like the um, the privilege of now knowing exactly what a computer does seeing our kids and knowing exactly that's a console that's a pc Mm -hmm. you can do this 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 and this and this is what you can't do on this you know and i feel like with that information (laughs) for me it's just like people making games that they they themselves want to play and yes it's not gonna not every single one of them is gonna be super successful but why do they all need to be sometimes the game is gonna have twenty thousand players and it's fine why does it have to be exactly what i'm saying for an indie game twenty thousand is good yeah the problem is that a lot of these games are not getting the numbers and i think that's where the conversation is now coming up from which is why i i entertain the conversation because i've always said if people are playing these games yeah. My audience is no longer there. Like what I want, maybe it doesn't exist anymore, and I'm talking a bubble. But why can't I, both exist? I think both. I think both can exist if they should exist. And I think when you produce a game, the objective is to sell the game. And when they're not selling, I think the conversation does come up with why are you still producing these games if no one's buying them? But are you I, to, are you talking to big developers or are you talking to indie developers? Because you cannot um, tell an indie developer what game to make. They're making the games they want to make. No, I think that there's a lot of uh, a lot of indie developers that are doing a lot of good things, right? Mm. Um, I don't know if the if the games that he's talking about are actually indie games. Yeah. I just think they're small budget games. I don't think they're necessarily indie. Let's look it up. Um, yeah. Let's okay. When, when he brings them up, mm. I'll bring them up and we'll check to see what they yeah. are. But. This is mostly stemming from AAA games, this this conversation. I think Fortnite was a bad example for him to use as the dancing emojis because Fortnite is one of the most successful games ever. Yeah, it's and super accessible. I wouldn't say Fortnite's work because yeah. if you look at some of the character designs, they do them very busty a lot of the time. Like they yeah. don't, they don't really, they do pull their punches because kids are playing, but I would I'm say- I'm sorry, but like, what are we talking about here? When we say woke, like what exactly are we talking about? When they say because woke- It's like, um, irregardless of it, women with big boobs exist in the real world. Like it's, just it's because they just... don't exist in your video game doesn't mean they're not a kid is never going to see a woman with big tits. Of course, I think what they mean when they say work is that when they have a pre-existing character, let's say Jubilee or Storm, mm. and they've always looked a certain way, and then they get put in another game like Fortnite, for example, which didn't happen. Fortnite stayed mm. true to the designs, and suddenly they look very, very different, like proportion-wise, or their face looks very different, and it seems like an intentional change. And yeah. although you, I can't really put my finger on it because I don't like using the word woke. Mm. It's been overblown. But I would always say to them, like, for example, let's say that they put 
uh, Vegeta in Fortnite, which they did. Mm -hmm. And he looks like he does on the Dragon Ball card as he does in Fortnite. If the developers were known for uglifying characters or taking characters away from their original source material, and then you saw Vegeta and he didn't look like Vegeta was very skinny. Mm -hmm. He was, his personality was no longer Of course, very no, that vengeful. would make sense. Yeah. That, that would make sense. But yeah. what you're saying is, is they're taking something that's sexualized or a character that is overly sexualized in their own story or whatever and mm. then they bring them in here and then they take that stuff away mm. but i think that it's dependent because if you're talking about sex and things like that then of course some things are not going to be appropriate for a wider audience like kids and that it would be um, a better decision to have storm wear a different costume i'm not mm. i'm not saying that storm specifically i'm just mm. using her as a placeholder yeah, yeah um but say for example you had one of the mortal kombat characters like mm -hmm. the old ones like very skimply dressed Paint knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like very I mean, skimply so, dressed. Fortnite's defense, they actually just kept the. Yeah, but like, was very that's, we're just using it as an idea, right? Yeah, like, yeah. say, for example, they did do this. You know, I think um, you could argue that some people would be really angry and like purists, where it's like, why are you changing the characters? Mm. And then the other side is, well, like, you know, some of these designs may not be appropriate for children. Mm. You know, so I don't know. I think there's a conversation to be had there as well, where yeah. it's like, not everything is changing things for no reason mm -hmm. you know sometimes i think when you're a business and you have to think about parents buying this stuff for their kids yeah um and they're not in the know they're going to look at the front cover or whatever it is that they're seeing and think yes that's appropriate they're going to make a quick you know judgment of yeah. whether it's appropriate for their child the other thing i was going to say is that i think fortnite was a bad example as well because it's a kids game yeah so what if you take like scorpion and you put him in fortnite i don't expect to see him ripping people's heads off yeah um, the reason that I think people use the word woke is that if you take a game like Star Wars, for example, Star Wars Outlaws, where they had this very gorgeous model who was doing the character design and then she looks, it looks like they've made intentional changes to make her look less feminine. Or more masculine. Make her look more masculine. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you, you take pre-existing characters and you bring them into a new game, even male ones where they're like very bulky and very like uh, aggressive mm -hmm. or whatever, and you... You bring their, their uh, I don't know, like Kratos's level of aggression right down mm -hmm. and it becomes much more tame. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Then people are like, what are you doing? What have you done yeah. to this character? Well, yeah, I get that. But that's a whole other thing I'm not going to get into right now. All right, so what games from the 2000s should we compare these with? These are six kind of random games that I just happen to pull off the shelf without thinking too much about it. They are Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Ride to Hell Retribution, Modern Warfare 2, Dark Sector... Deus Ex Human Revolution, Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. And again, let me just say yeah, the names of those games. Alone, yeah. Already, I'm just like, <laughs> like Brothers in Arms, I'm there. Well, that was actually a really good game. I really enjoyed it. I think all of those. I actually, I don't like Deus Ex very much. I'm not a big fan of it. I never played it. I, I, a lot never of my friends games, like it. Really. I've played, I've, I've not played, I've, I don't think I've played the Riddick game before. I think I had uh -huh. it, I didn't even get around to it. I think um, it's one of those things where you gonna really gonna play the game like um, hey, dude, yeah, i don't know man movie games back you in the think? day were hard i don't know Ooh, man you remember the know. king kong game you could rip t-rex's tongue out like and the swinging was really good that was really sick <laughs> the swinging was really good <laughs> spider man shit <laughs> that's all i remember what him swinging from the branch no uh, spider man oh in king kong no what oh what, what? what? <laughs> oh you're talking about the, the ps2 movie game <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah spider man 2 was sick that was ahead of its time that trying was, to fight Vulture. Yeah, that, 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 was, thing. that was a nightmare. <laughs> Do you remember the first one where you'd swing into nothing? Yep. Just be like that. <laughs> Again, all I'm going to do here is read the descriptions and we will compare. 2024, Creatures of Ava. Let your empathy guide you as you play an exciting action-adventure creature saver game. Understand and tame the creatures of Ava and let them lead you through a variety of ecosystems all in the hopes of saving the planet from a life-consuming infection. That synopsis, does it sound like it's for an adult? Mm, no. 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 There we go. Say, it's, it's, apples and, it's apples and oranges, babe. I also found out... That <laughs> what was the name of the game? Creatures of Ava. Like, I'm sorry, but comparing Creatures of Ava to fucking, like... Chronicles of Riddick is <laughs> fucking wild, dude. Um, I, wish to, I want to find what the demographic is for this game. 
the main gameplay involves taking pictures of the creatures to discover them all and, and cure all the ones that are crafted with your magic staff. There are also some nice puzzles and a bit of platforming, so overall it's chill, but still pretty engaging. The art style is cute and colourful, the animation is nice, the environments are very immersive and the story is decent so far. So really and truly, it's two completely different games. Yeah, they, they're... This is, you're, compa um, you're comparing... What's that fucking Pokemon game that you, like, take snap. pictures of? Yeah, there we go. Like, you're comparing that to Chronicles of Riddick. <laughs> like I'm sorry it's just not the same thing it's not like this is clearly not aimed for an adult I, I mean adults can can enjoy it kind mm -hmm. of like Adventure Time it's a show made for kids but if you're kind of you know if you're the coolest adult ever you can find you know mm -hmm. you can enjoy it too yeah maybe uh, he did say it was random so but by then for the purpose of the video is you wouldn't you would exactly you would just find something that's the equivalent yeah you probably should have done the equivalent Let's do the equivalent I, right now, because I think this is actually a really interesting conversation to have. I think, yeah, this game reviewed pretty well as well. And mm. I, I wouldn't look at GameSpot for a trusted review, but Steam reviewed it pretty yeah. well. Um, I think, yeah, I, I saw Asmongold talking about this, and I really believe what he said was true. There are certain games that come out that are that everyone can play, but there are guy games and girl games. Yeah. Okay. I would say, because I, I, I go to Shanice's house every now mm. and then, um, and... She plays games that I don't actually think are bad games, mm. but I could not imagine a dude playing them. No, which is not I, a no, bad thing. no, but I think that that's just a redundant thing to say because just because you wouldn't play them, you don't speak for all men. I'm sure there are many men who play Stardew Valley. I don't think there is. Pewds plays. Who? Pewds. Oh, PewDiePie. Like, it's just one of those things where... Uh, yeah, he might play I don't think there's many men playing it. Dude, I think when... It, 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 men are not a monolith. Like, They're not a and monolith. Neither but are women. I, but I think when we say and we split with, like games into genres, like, these are girl games and these are boy games, I think that's where, like, we just don't need to be doing that. But I, I think People that are there's, there's actually data things. to support it. Like, mm. the most uh, girls populate... Games like, uh, what was that Facebook game called? Is it Farmville or something? No, and like I agree with you. I'm not saying that the predominant player base isn't going to be female or mm -hmm. male in certain in some things like Chronicles of Riddick. Obviously, the player base is going to be predominantly male, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that women are not playing that game or mm -hmm. would find enjoyment in it. Mm -hmm. I think that when we're talking in absolutes, it's just it's just a silly thing to do. Like, no, I'm really talking to do in it, gen know? Gen uh, I'm generalising. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think generally speaking, I'll use Tekken as an yeah. example. Generally speaking, dudes play Tekken. There's yeah. a lot more girls that play it now. Mm -hmm. I would say that there are probably, a, there's a fair amount of guys that probably like Stardew Valley because from what I've heard, it's just a good game. Yeah, it's just a good But game. I would be willing to bet, generally speaking, girls play. I think we need to discuss the fact that it's not girl games or boy games. I think it's just chill games and games that have a very specific goal in mind. Hmm. Like there are games that are very open, that you go in, you choose what you want to do, you choose how you want to spend your time on that game. You know, some people playing Creatures of Avon may play very differently. Obviously, me and you're not very familiar with this game at all. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't think it's a smart thing to talk on this particular thing, but yeah. compare equivalent games that maybe we have played. Yeah, I'm not going to shit on this game because yeah. I have no idea what it's about. Looking at it, like I can look at games when I'm watching uh, J uh, Jeff Keighley do the game presentation. I would agree year. with you. And I would say that, you know, it doesn't look like many men play this game. Yeah. However, would I say the same thing for boys? Probably not. Like younger boys. Mm. I don't know because they're growing up in this age, in this day. Uh, I still think the uh, like for young boys, the Call of Duty type of game still dominates. Oh, one hundred percent. But like I said, not all little boys um, have the same hobbies and want to yeah. go around shooting everything. Like there yeah. are some very, there is just different kids, man. Well, just to be clear, like I don't think there's anything wrong with because I, I do believe there are girl games mm. and boy games. I don't think they make them with that that uh, intention, intention mm. but I think they ultimately fall into those camps. You have games like Yakuza, which I know loads of girls love mm -hmm. now, but initially, I didn't know a single girl played that game. But you and say then, initially. Yeah, because it grew its legacy. People yeah. saw it's it. It's grown like, now. It's a yeah. game like that stands on its own two feet. Yeah. You cannot, cannot like, kind of turn around and say this game is a male game. It's just a game. I mean, for in Yakuza's case, I think you can because mm. the developer said we specifically designed this for men. Mm. So, but I think because it's such a good game, girls will play it anyway. Yeah. But there's another game coming out. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a Korean game called Inzoi. Yeah, of course I have. Yeah, so... That, that, those are my type of games. That's yeah. what I was saying. Like, it's just... We just play different types of games. It's not just not female. Like, there's so many male streamers that mm. do videos for Sims, mm -hmm. you know? And you would turn around and say, oh, that's predominantly a, a female type of game. And I would say, no, because I, I think if it's enjoyed that. by both, I, I find it, there's no need to generalise if you know that there's a player base 
that like the player base is both male and female i wouldn't say it's a female game mm. i would say it's a game um populated by women because mm. if, if i say it's a female game that means it was made in in mind for girls mm. and guys just play it i don't think that happens most of the time with games mm. i just think there's games that like this yeah i don't i i no, it's got good reviews from users yeah so that's a good sign if it was ign saying it i'd say that if ign gives it a nine mm. it's probably shit if they give it a one, it's probably sick. That's how I gen operates. I don't trust them with anything. It seems yeah, like I imagine this is going. Game. Yeah, this is going to be for everyone to play. Yeah. Much like Pokemon, Pokemon is for everyone to play. I think Pokemon is like, boys jump to Pokemon because you're battling the yeah. monsters in your mm -hmm. pocket. Um, something like this. Girls would... go for it due to the collection. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. but Pokemon's easy to be enjoyed by everyone. But in when I was growing up, it was initially a boy thing, Definitely. and then it sort of like expanded. But I don't think it was made to exclude women no I no i think, agree with you i do agree with you those like those spaces games, were dominated yeah. by us for by, a long time men, before, yeah. before girls jumped in agreed i just think obviously we're talking about two very different times like that was over 20 years ago mm. like we're now 30 years old we very much play games like they're very very popular there's esports you know dominated by both male and women obviously more men just because there's barely any money in female esports but i don't know there's barely any money in esports. Yeah, like, I guess like, it's not good. I don't know. Characters of this game are, of course, homosexual black women because you know, 2024. Let your empathy guide you. Like, what the hell? I don't, <laughs> I don't play video games to let my empathy guide me. And ooh, I want to be gay and collect creatures. And uh, like, this game just sounds retarded. Let's be honest. So now let's compare this with a game from 20 years ago. 2005. Yes, a perfectly yeah. fucking fair thing to do. The back of the box says this. They would they sacrifice, sacrifice everything except <laughs> each other. That's like, fucking gay -o. That's fucking gay -o. No, it's not. Objectively, yes, it is. Listen, they would sacrifice everything except that dick. That's, that's literally it's said. the same thing. That's annoying. And then, he, and then he goes to two balls. Except each other. Like, like damn. Dude. You guys are gay as fuck. And you just that don't is, like admitting it. That's not gay. <laughs> There's nothing yeah. more manly than being at war with your boys and being like, boys, let's go on, let's go on yeah. shield. Mm -hmm. Back of a box, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm interested now. That is a dope intro for a back of the box. It goes on the night before D-Day, 1944. <laughs> the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne Division are dropped into Normandy and scattered behind enemy lines. As Sergeant Matt Baker, lead your squad through eight harrowing days that will define history and unite you forever as brothers in arms. Like, bro, like the balls of these games description. I have to go play this game now. See, this is what this is just so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is just like apples and oranges. Like we're really comparing creatures of Ava to this. Like, that's ridiculous. This is such a dumb conversation. I think what he should have done, my criticism is for this... Do was a getting, different video? <laughs> well, no, just get... There's Brothers in Arms from 20 years ago. What is the equivalent of Brothers in Arms That's kind today? of what I'm saying, though. Like, this just kind of is a non-video because it's just comparing two very, very different games and two very different times. I think is I think one criticism I do agree with, with him is that... Um, I'm unsure. Maybe not the game he's just shown because it's apparently got good reviews. I don't know how well this sold. Active players, 13. 13 minutes ago, active yeah. players. That's a, it's a single player game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When did it come out? Uh, okay, that's quite... Yeah, it's quite, not, quite, not, quite not a game, yeah. Uh, it sold 6,000 units. Now, I don't know what the investment was. 6,000 is... 11-bit studios. That's the publisher. So it's grossed eleven uh, one hundred and twelve thousand mm dollars -hmm. And go to Inverge Studios. Inverge Studios, they developed two, two games. games. They are total lifetime revenue, 282, average revenue per game. With marketing, I don't know how much marketing this game It's hard to know how well the game is actually done. I mean, for a, a studio that made two games, um, they have one game on the front page. of This is where this guy took it from, right? Yeah. So it's doing well. Buzz and Arms were developers. Gearbox. Gearbox. Yeah, like. I don't know who Gearbox are. They do a lot of good games. They do Borderlands, apparently. Okay, they're pretty big then. Mm. Yeah, probably not a fair, not a fair comparison. Um, You're comparing an indie game to a game that has like the money and very good developers. Mm. It's just not the same. Also, does the Xbox Marketplace does it rotate what's on the front page? I don't actually know because I, I, I would, I would yeah. ask the question: Why are your popular games not on there? But then maybe they're trying to boost indie developers. 
I don't know. I just always thought that they were on different um, sections. No, when I did go there, I did see a bunch of yeah. indie games, and I was a bit like, where are all the main games? Let's go to Steam now. Let's have a quick look at the Steam front page. Oh, Steam, Steam's, I think Steam's different to the Xbox place. They still have a lot of indie developers. I think that's kind of why I'm, I want to see if it's a trend that's kind of happening across. Okay, so Steam is advertising PlayStation on the front. Mm -hmm. uh, God of War. Yep. What other scroll through? God? God of War. War, War of Thunder, Thunder. Ghost, Ghost of Shima, a lot of man stuff. Satisfactory one point. Mm. It's a factory game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Train simulate. simulate. Hey man. I've heard people like these yeah. games. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of autism. Uh, yeah. Autism in the world right now. Can't strike. Bang. Whatever. NBA. Whatever. Okay. They've got a mix. See? They've got a decent mix. This, for me, is a little bit more representative of what people are actually playing. Space, Space Marine. Marine! What is your objective? <laughs> Die for the Emperor! Okay, so we've got Starfield. I had really mixed shit uh, yeah, things about that game. I had very mixed things. Mm. There's a mix here. Diablo, Jedi Survivor, Sea of Stars. That actually looks like a game I'd play. There's a decent mix here. There's a, uh, let's go to where it says Browse All Games. Yeah. Okay, so Call of Duty is right at the front. So it's sorted by relevance at the at this moment. Yeah. I don't see a single gay game. Okay. <laughs> I just don't. Well, I don't know. Minecraft is that? They argue. leave Minecraft alone. It's a great Have you game. Seen the movie trailer. No. <gasps> oh no. What's the fucking? No, but guy? I don't. You know, I don't. That's not why I like Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I don't know if his comparisons are fair. Um, I think we've discovered they're not. <laughs> I, I, of course, like. Brothers and Arms is an awesome game. To yeah, me. and no, I, no, but that's preference. It's preference. Yeah. It's no, no. I agree. I'm not disagreeing. Mm. They're objectively good games. Mm -hmm. I just think that we're seeing it wrong. You're some people like this particular guy is seeing it as this game isn't made for me, so it fucking sucks. Mm. And it's like, yes, you're not the only demographic. Yeah. You know, you are not the only person that they're marketing to. It does seem like. Uh, the Ava game was developed by an indie studio, it so it's was. not fair. If they were a AAA studio, I'd be like, why are you sinking all your money yeah, into this? Yeah, exactly. But if they're an indie studio, then mm -hmm. it's not really fair. And also, we have to take Oops. into account that many studios that are bigger um, would still maybe uh, make smaller games like this. Yeah, the investment would, it, The would opportunity is there, exactly. Yeah. To them, it's nothing. It's a drop in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Why not make the gay game and make your main game, you know? Yeah, it, it all, all for me. It all comes down to what you invest. Like Concord, they invested two hundred and fifty million into that. They were more interested in creating character designs. They knew they must have known that people were going to be like, "What the fuck are we looking at?" Here? It was real bad. The character. Did, I, I feel awful. bad saying that. I just maybe you know what? Awful, dude. I know. It was awful. You look at Overwatch, yeah, and anyone can say whatever they want I about Overwatch. The, game. the character designs in Overwatch are they catch oh, your dear. eye. Yep. I know characters in that game. I've never even, I've, I've yep. shot one bullet on that game. I I never intend on going back. <laughs> I intend on never touching it again. But I can recognize the characters, and I think the character design is actually pretty cool. Yeah. I know it's had a lot of pushback from people in recent times for gameplay and monetization or whatever. Mm. But it all fair. Yeah. yeah. If you are making a hero shooter, make fucking heroes. I don't want to see Becky Agreed. from down the road that yep. can't walk properly because she's four hundred pounds. I want to see a hero. You know. I don't. I thing is, yeah. Like, I don't. I don't care for big characters, like, in the sense that if they're there, cool, and if they're not, okay, I like, they're, they're not, it I don't depends, play a game depends, because, dude, oh, I don't play, matter. no, but I don't play a game because there's a fat person in it, and I don't play, I don't not play a game because there isn't, do you see what I mean? Like, it seems really, like, oh, odd. I, I think, uh, if brothers and arms were all fat dudes, it'd be like. Of course, no, but what I'm saying is, is, like, it's not the reason people are making a game. And it's not the main reason people are buying one. No, it's not the main reason. I think it's part of a, a part of a problem that all the character designs were bad. So like, okay, we've got this person over here doesn't mm. look like a hero for this reason. This person over here doesn't look like a hero for this reason. What's that fat guy? Rufus? Rufus and Street Fighter. Yeah. Mm. Like, he's fucking huge. The mm. things that he does are not believable for a fat guy. And yeah, yeah. no one bats an eye. Yeah, but that's because Rufus is designed in a way to be... He's quite endearing. No, he's... this is fucking dumb. No, at the, at the end of the day... No, no, all I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, if you're going to say, oh, if all, the brothers, if all the brothers in arms guys were Rufus, mm. okay, you would have nothing to say because... No, I wouldn't play it. <laughs> Why not? I would, I would be like, what the fuck is this? Rufus is a comic relief character. This is a serious war. <laughs> we're going to war with our brothers. And I'm not trying to see Rufus and Bob here. I'm trying to see Kazi and Jim. No, that's fine. All I'm saying is... Context matters. Okay, agreed. 
but not for everything. Like, it didn't matter that there was a fucking fat guy doing mad moves and somersaults yeah, and shit. But there's a reason why it didn't matter. Rufus... I'm not disagreeing. ...is a comic relief character who's never going to be like, hey, Kazia, I am the king no, of Iron No, I get Fist. it. I understand. If he did, I'd be like, hey, what's going on here? I get it. But what I'm saying is, is that in this particular game, obviously, it doesn't really... Like, it wouldn't fit. It yeah. doesn't... I'm not talking about this specific game. I'm just saying, in general... Like, it doesn't matter at all. It's not the fucking reason you don't buy a game. And it's not the reason that you do. I'm not thinking, oh, because I'm £100, I'm going to buy that game because there's a guy that has £100 in it. No one does that. I, I, I so this is that. just this is just a stupid non-point. I, I, I would definitely... It depends so on if the game. They, so if you were £100, you would pay you would pay for a 40 to 50 to £60 pound game mm. just because there's a fat guy in it that looks like you. No, no. I, That's a wait, ridiculous let me just thing to say. What you're saying. Are you saying that if a game comes out and they've got a character in it that... I don't like right like a fat character and they're in a particular situation that i would not place them i wouldn't buy the i would still buy the game no no i'm just saying in specific like you've confused me so much yeah, with what I you just said yeah what you said. <laughs> I'm, so in space marine right yeah. all the dudes are like they're jack yes and to me i'm like yeah it makes sense yes this game's like but hardcore. you're you're going it's all of them all of them are fat i'm not saying that I'm telling you, if Rufus was in this game, you mm. wouldn't give a fuck. It wouldn't be the reason why you didn't buy the game, and it isn't going to be the reason why you did. It's just a fucking background character. He's not the main character. He's just a guy. He's fat, and he's in the game. Yeah, it but makes no difference. The heroes in Concord are not background. You're talking characters. to you're talking about heroes. Yeah. Uh, what heroes yeah. in Concord were fat and huge? There was uh, two of them. Where? I'll show you. You actually had to tag this <laughs> I don't know his name. Like There's this chick here, and that's, this guy. Th they're clearly just in armor. That person no, no, is not in object. Armor. No, this guy's not. Come on, couch. come on, dude. Because, okay, you you picked face. this person, no, I said and then that yeah, and they, this came up. You said, "Look, this person's huge," and I said, "They're clearly in armor." This person, yes, is clearly a fat character. I don't care that they're in this game. Okay. If they were the only person that was fat in the game, it's not the whole fucking roster. What is the problem? Okay, I just don't get what the issue is. It's like, a hideous character. I in agree. That it is, is already saturated. Yes. With awesome character. Yes, I, that's fine to say. Mm -hmm. But the reason it's shit isn't because they're fat. It's, a it's just a shit fitness. fucking character design. No, that's there's, it. There's a, there's a culmination of shit where you end up calling the entire game shit, and this is I'm one not, of the pieces of shit. I'm not disagreeing that's... with you. Yeah. I'm saying you're not saying this is shit because the person has a fat character in it. The game's no, got... I'm not saying the game is exactly. a whole is shit. I'm saying that there's loads of things that build up to it being. No, I don't shit. think you're understanding is... what I'm saying. I don't think I. Am. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm getting. It. You're. You're. I'm. I'm simply saying this is not the be all fucking end all. It's no, not the reason why you purchase that. a game or you don't. So I'm just saying that this conversation is so dumb because all in all, it's not the reason why we buy games in the first place. We don't play or play games because oh, there's characters that look like me. Like you, me and you have had this conversation. We yeah. play a game because the story is fucking good and we, you know, we enjoy it. You know, it's an enjoyable experience. Well, I, I think I this think was differs. clearly, this clearly blew for many, many reasons. Not just there was a fat character in it. I don't think anyone said it's just. I know, but that's my point. In this overarching, uh, sig uh, this video, yeah. right? His point is like the pussification. And in the last one, it was like all the wokeness. And included in the wokeness was just being okay with different sizes. I don't see why that's a point that we should be arguing. It's okay if there's a character in it that's really skinny and there's a character in it that's really, really fat. I just think that those things are not, you like, they're not like huge selling points. It's just whatever. What's more important is how you design those characters and how they fit into your story. As you said, mm -hmm. Rufus fits great in the story because he's comedy relief. You know he's never going to be the guy, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Right? That's what you said. Mm -hmm. In this situation, none of these characters look like main characters and that is the main issue. Yeah. Not that, oh, this character was fat and this character doesn't look like a man. I don't think that matters. I think in a, you, you had a character like okay let me, let me go through Walking Dead right mm -hmm. the the tell the Telltale game mm -hmm. okay he was just any guy Clementine was a literal child mm -hmm. okay and yet we still enjoyed that game they looked like anybody's but that's because they were supposed to yeah. right in this game they were not supposed to, they look like they have no reason to look the way they do mm -hmm. they don't fit and I think that innately is why people it doesn't mesh with people that's my point though yeah i know that's why i was so frustrated because i'm like we're trying to say the same thing and you're not agreeing no, with i me. thought that you were saying <laughs> no i thought you were saying that i wouldn't buy a game 
if I saw a fat character. But I don't. That's not what I was saying. I was saying that I wouldn't buy a, a game if I saw a fat character plus all the other dog yes. shit. Because then I'd be like, there's just so much dog shit. <laughs> right, but it's not your like. If say you didn't have any of the other dog shit, and right? it was just that dog shit. It it's just one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> are we being rude <laughs> I, don't I don't know dude i've lost all meaning <laughs> this game clearly upset a lot of people it's Did, upset with, us right now. with very good reason like i'm sorry but i feel so bad because as, a, as someone this who really me. i know but as someone who really enjoys art and like knows how much sh like it goes into creating something like this it is very upsetting and i can understand it is upsetting to the people that created this you know i would feel sympathy for them apart from the reason they decided to go on twitter and start insulting people they you're telling me they, yeah they, they called us uh, talentless freaks now it wasn't all of them it was not all of them but there was I enough mean, maybe of them you things. but me no, i'm joking, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> the way i see it yeah, is that you don't make a game to make you happy you yeah. make a game to make me happy not me necessarily but i'm the avatar the like the the person in the audience right who i'm just confused uh, who this was for yeah i am conf who who woke you know up and went to playstation studios or firewall whatever they're called and were like let's make a character this is a male character by the way yeah let's make this male character who is going to be in a game where he's going to be running around and he's going to be one of the main characters that you pick and we're going to make him look as hideous as possible because may is a stocky character like but she's not fat she though. no but what i'm saying is is that she's not mercy do you know what I mean? Like I, I she's don't yeah, they're like. like made very specifically, and I just feel like it's done very well. Whereas this is just okay. a little bit too. Like, Mercy looks like a hero though. That's what that I'm looks saying. Like a person that needs to be saved. That's by what Mercy. I mean. I'm just saying that like their character designs is really like because the game itself worked right. It didn't have any of the problems that a lot of new games have where it's like they're like glitch fetches yeah fests you know and this I it's a glitch, glitch yeah, yeah, I was gonna, well, you got a glitch fest, right? <laughs> it's a glitch fest and that didn't happen here and yet it tanked solely because people hated the way things looked yeah that's so crazy that we as like a society are like that's ugly. We don't like it. No, but this is uh, <laughs> this is art, right? When you're trying yeah. to sell art to people, not, not all of it's going to stick. Yeah. And I think that if you took these kind of designs and you say stuck them in Street Fighter, Street Fighter is going to tank. People, when they go to play Street Fighter, they like the chun uh, looking yeah. women, the camis, and then the dudes to be yeah. buffed and ripped. It's true. The context matters. In this situation, it makes no sense because these are heroes. They're heroes. Like yeah. that yeah. hero <laughs> developers, heroes. You are used to understand what that meant. I don't... And it, Clearly, you still do, mm. but somewhere along the line, you got confused. I don't know. I don't know what happened and who got in your ears, but but that to me looks is... like it's supposed to be me. Who this? No, like the fat character. Oh, in this Google. this is supposed to be a take on me. I just feel like they they took <laughs> what they thought Overwatch was. They if someone was sleeping at the wheel, they think that's me. No, no, I'm not. Well, clearly, it's not me. I'm just saying the they took what they thought overwatch did mm. right and i think they tried to do the same where they were like let's um create characters right that cover all body types just you know what i mean like make it super inclusive mm. and it's just really bad do you know like the worst the the, this guy is probably the worst one he's a ripoff of uh, he's guy literally guardians of, guardians of the galaxy dude but 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 green yeah do you know what kills me the most is when i saw this character i thought of you and i was like you're saving the pink haired society one video at a time and concord just set them back like 500 years <laughs> listen no look if you look really closely it's it more magenta yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this character's name is, man. What an awful fucking design. Thing from the 2024 homo trash, like nothing is good anymore. Nothing grabs us. This is why video games profits are down. This is, and they completely quit catering to their base market of men. Next game, 2024 Dungeons of Hinterburg. Armed with a sword and a tourist guide. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing the <laughs> No, I love it. I love it. I love it. Go back. I don't want to start again. <laughs> Explore the beautiful Alpine village of Hinterberg and uncover the magic hidden within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters. 
all this and more awaits you in Hinterburg. Like, okay, I like swords, but based on the game's art style, I know within the first five minutes, we're meeting somebody's non-binary boyfriend. Like, nah, dude, I'm good. Now compare this with the 2013 masterpiece, Ride to Microbird Games. Sounds like a huge studio. <laughs> Never heard of these motherfuckers in my life. Let's go on their Instagram. They got 600. I got more followers than them on Instagram. <laughs> All right, this is clearly an indie studio. Again, that's why I'm. What? That's kind of the thing I'm trying to very make clear. I, why can't I speak today? <laughs> when was it released? July 18th, 2020. So one month ago, and it's already 35% off. Zero. No one's playing it right now. That's not good. It made 472,000, though. 21,000 units sold. That's pretty uh, good, you know, still. Publisher was Curve Games. It's another indie. No, genre is indie as well. Mm. Yeah, it's not fair to compare indie games to... To fucking blockbusters from 20 years ago. <laughs> I don't know if this was a block, but I don't think it would be considered an indie. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, 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 I didn't, yeah, I didn't see that it was being compared to that one. I thought we were still Four doing Dungeons and Hinterberg. Armed with a sword in a tourist guide, explore the beautiful alpine village of Hinterberg and uncover the magic hidden within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters. That totally sounds like a game I'd play though, but because he's doing it in the voice. Yeah. Like, okay, I like swords, but based on the game's art style, I know within the first five minutes, we're meeting somebody's non-binary boyfriend. Like, nah, dude, I'm good. Now compare this with the 2013 masterpiece, Ride to Hell Retribution. Back of the box says this. Two fists, two wheels, no rules. Fucking sold. Bro, we were, we're so far removed from that Dude, now. No, we're not. Like, in the we're sense not. that, okay, say I, I made another game that was exactly like this. Mm -hmm. What's special about it? I've just made a, the same game that was out 20 years ago. I don't think they necessarily need to be special because like we said last time, the age old story of brotherhood Doesn't duty get and obligation, old, yeah. it never gets old. We were talking about it with Mortal Kombat the other day. You know, they've gender bent sex on Cyrax. They released a trailer for Noob Cybot, who is formerly Sub-Zero and he becomes a dark mm -hmm. uh, spirit. And the trailer was actually really good. And I said the one criticism of that trailer that I have is that in the original timeline, it was Sub-Zero, uh, well, in this timeline, it's Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and in their clan, uh, you've got Sector, Cyrax, Smoke. So you've got this brotherhood, except mm. they've gender-bent Se uh, Sector and Cyrax. And I said, they might be able to tell a good story where Sector and Sub-Zero are close, but you will never be able to match a story about brothers and, like, going to the nether up to save your brother. It's just, it's not going to work. I'm not disagreeing. I think I agree with you that that story never gets old. This mm. is not that story. Two fists, two wheels. Like, I don't understand. How do you have maybe, two fists and two wheels? Maybe he's defending his brothers because these assholes took him down. You know, and he's got his two fists and his motorbike. And his two wheels. Ah, oh, I yeah, see his, his motorbike. motorbike. Yeah, see, he might oh, be ghost Yeah, like that. No rules as well. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I can't lie. All right, all right. <laughs> you're fucking twisting <laughs> But I already know one thing. This game has balls. But and titties. A lone rider, Jake Conway, locked in a battle to the death. He can't do that. He can't give this for the badass fucking it like voiceover. It makes sense. This gang of bikers called the Devil's Hand. No, let me do it now. No, let me do it now. Two boys on the road with their bikes and their views. It's not the same, see? Okay, and you got a hot chick on the back. Like, dude, I'm in. I want to play this game now. <laughs> These 2024 games will be three sentences long and still can't grab my attention. And then with like one word, this 2013 game completely has me by the balls. Like guys, it kind of makes me sad that America actually used to export like cool stuff to the world. And now it's just homo woke garbage that America is exporting. Like you, I know you dudes in Europe know what I'm talking about. Like America used to export you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, the Stallone movies. He just wants the 90s back. Awesome stuff. Bro, so does everyone. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. What? I think I, America went through this thing where a lot of people were saying that it was propaganda. There was a lot of war yeah, films that agreed. came out. Where it, and they were awesome films they as well. And it made sick. people feel like, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to war yeah, right now. <laughs> I can get those comments. <laughs> like, but they were great films, man. They were really, really good films. Mm. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, that's a great film. So good, yeah, like brilliant. Uh, Pearl Harbor was oh really, God, really yeah. good. That made me cry, bro. Predator was was amazing. Black yeah. Hawk Down, mm. such a good film, and Black Hawk Down was amazing. It really doesn't get the praise that it deserves. Honestly, for me, it's all the Nick Cage films. 
fucking yeah, con air. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Any, any, oh, God damn. Mace off. The, God damn. The Rock. Is it The Rock? <laughs> oh, rock. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. They, yeah. they escaped from prison. Yeah, yeah. That film is sick. They, they, yeah, there were some badass films back in the day. Yeah, man. that film is sick. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, like, everyone will say, oh, they've done these films already. Mm. They can, you can just, you can. Give keep, it to me again. Yeah, do it again. Did you hear that they do another Constantine film? Yeah, Constantine too. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Give me mm-hmm. Constantine versus Satan again. I'll take it. I'll take it. You don't have to go, you don't have to be like too introspective and oh we've got to explore all these political issues and we have to make sure everyone's represented. I think we go through phases you know because I feel like there was a a whole like section of our youth Mm. that was just studios making sequels Mm -hmm. and we were like oh my fucking god make it stop and I think then we had like that period where they discovered comics Mm -hmm. and they that they could make they could retell stories in a different medium and then yeah. we would just lapped that shit up. They ruined it now. They ruined it now. Or oh, maybe we ruined it, you know. No, they ruined it. Our hunger we fed for them. something. <laughs> we fed them. We lined their pockets and they got greedy. And they no, like, we got too hungry. Do you know what? I miss films like uh, Law Abiding Citizen. Yeah. What a good film. Just these random films. They don't need sequels. They're just a good story yeah, in the moment. It. Yeah. They don't need to be part of a cinematic universe. Yeah. It's just dudes shooting aliens or getting revenge for their family kill a man's family i'm gonna blow up the whole city <laughs> i get it i fucking get it <laughs> in fact john wick did it so good as well you killed the man's dog god, what did man, you expect he said i'm done yeah i'm done with all of you it's, and the thing is that the, do you know why that film resonated with so many people because the most simple thing can drive you to do the most insane yeah. shit like if somebody came in here and god forbid hurt tinkerbell and b I'm going to prison. That's it. I'm going to prison. We're the bad boy sequel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can take a very... Si- that John Wick is what's made hundreds of millions at the box office now, yeah. probably billions, off of the back of they killed my man's dog. Yeah. And every guy was like, hey, man, take my PlayStation. <laughs> you touch my Pokemon cards, but you kill my dog, I'm going to kill your whole gang. Garbage that America is exporting today, and it's such a shame. Next game, 2024 Flintlock Siege of Dawn. Step into the boot of Nor Van Andy, <laughs> a member of the coalition. No way. Oh, uh, that's it. No, but seriously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's got people hanging. You know, it didn't look as um, gay as Creatures of Avor. Mm. So, why is it giving it the same treatment? Well, let's, let's see. Next game 2024 Flintlock Siege of Dawn. Step into the boot of Nor Van Anik, an elite m- member of the Coalition Army, joined by Inky, a mysterious fox-like companion, in their quest for vengeance against the gods. Guided by Inky, who shares his knowledge of the world with you, your combat skills and traversal abilities will be imbued with this magical powers, making you a duo to be reckoned with. Like, nah, dude, it just sounds gay. It sounds queer. Why is every game like this now? It's always some magical nonsense that never sounds... Is it me? I'm not seeing the gay there. So the, I think the problem is with this one is the main character themselves. I don't think... Why? I, well, from what he said, it's a gay black woman. I don't think that's a problem on its own. Yeah, like what's the issue? I would need to look into this game because from what he's showing, it just looks like a hack and slash. Not a hack and slash that I would play because that market is so saturated. Yeah, fair. I'm going to select the ones that resonate with me the most. But I don't I haven't seen anything gay yet. Yeah, like I'm I'm yet to see the gay. Maybe maybe there is, I don't know. It's just also, two women kissing each other two seconds. Yeah, two seconds the next frame. <laughs> also the fox like creature. I, that that oh, no, creature sort of reminds me of the creature in Ico, the one that I've got. Yeah, that with. literally reminded what Guardians? Um and, uh, Last Guardian. Last Guardian, yeah. Like the Ico series, that Shadow of the Colossus. Me, yeah. Such I don't, a banger. Yeah, I don't mind that. I actually I love those games. Yeah. I think they're amazing. They were great games. And those games are like I wouldn't say those are masculine or feminine yeah. games. They don't lean anywhere. They're just... A story game. If gender neutral was a game, it would be Shadow of the Colossus. Because <laughs> the guy is like, yeah, he's very yeah. frail looking it's and stuff. True. But it's such, a, it's such an epic masterpiece. Like, it's such a good game. I think it's just because it's... Yeah, you know what? I think you might be right. It's like the perfect balance. Yeah. It's not too anything. Yeah. It's not too anything. The guy is like, he's a dude, yeah. but he's not jacked. And there's no like hidden He's not messaging. some pussy. He ain't just... a pussy. He's definitely not a pussy yeah. after what he dealt with. The character designs are quite scary. Like they catch yeah, your guard they sometimes. Really do. Um, it's just, I guess it's. Good tension builder as well. 
Yeah, this no Shadow of the Colossus is just a timeless classic. Anyone could play it. If you haven't played that game, then you are missing out. It's like none of these developers beta tested any of these ideas with normal guys. I guarantee you get a bunch of straight dudes in a room and they would tell you this idea was terrible. Oh, but the cherry on top, of course, is this. Black female lesbian girl boss as the main character. There, like he just said, if you showed this game to these this group of dudes, it's like, I understand that. But the demographic of like who games are sold to doesn't look like that anymore. Mm. It looks slightly different. You know, I'm not saying it's totally different and that that doesn't exist. I'm just saying that that exists, except there's also the addition of more females. Do you see what I mean? I'm not saying um, that the whole group is. I'm just saying there's two or three extra females in there in that photo. Do you mm. see what I'm saying? So the demographic is slightly like it's different. It's not completely changed the way that developers or, you know, makers are making games for people that don't even exist. Yeah. You know, whereas I think we're just trying to say there's a there's a middle ground. Like you don't have to make your game fully like the the main character doesn't have to be a gay black female. I'm not saying that it, it couldn't be. Mm. Why not? Like I, I don't personally don't have a problem with that. It doesn't get in the way of the story for me at all. See, yeah. I, I don't have an issue with this yeah. because my issue with gaming, and I've always I've stuck on this. I don't like it when people deviate. Is mm. I don't like you touching my shit. Yeah. So don't touch my Tekken. Yeah. And don't touch my Street Fighter. But you want to make you want to make a new game. Yeah, exactly. Your gay yeah, I've always not? said go ahead, go do whatever you want. If it doesn't sell well, then that's, you know where the market good. is, yeah. and if it does, it does. So I don't have a massive problem with this. Well, maybe it just it will sell. It just won't sell like a regular hack and slash would you yeah. know because the demographic for this or who it's selling to is much smaller and that's okay i would only have a problem with it if it was a concord situation where you cancelled all these other playstation mm -hmm. games and you spent yeah. 250 no, million that. effects that now gamers are going to feel because i am pretty sure the prius the ps5 pro and the price increase of the controllers yeah. and the regular ps5 are because of that it's game yeah. it's because of that damn game that game cost them hundreds of millions that's when I have a problem with it. But if this game came out and it was within the studio's budget and it's a character that I have no interest in, but there's a small group of people mm -hmm. that want to play it, I ain't got a people have I ain't got a problem with people having their own games yeah, same, man. whatsoever. My problem has always been Marcus Phoenix is a fucking he's a dude. Yeah, Make, he, he, he's dude. a dude. Yeah. Okay, I don't want I don't want him to be a hundred. <laughs> he's a <the> dude. <laughs> I want him to be three hundred pounds shooting aliens. And he needs to stay a dude. <laughs> and smoke cigars at all times. <laughs> like f off, dude. I'm not playing. I I think it's a woman. It might be a man. It might be a they them. All right, jumping back. Is it though? Like we're just being stupid now. Like that's a fucking woman. Like let's just not be. F off, dude. I'm not playing. You f off. Okay. All right, jumping back to the 2000s, and I know this isn't fair to compare this game, but it just popped off my shelf. 2009 Modern Warfare 2. Back of the box. You can't. It just popped off my shelf. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. That I get. This is like one of the most. This is one of the most hyper hyper masculine games. Come on, man. And it's awesome. This is like peak Call of Duty. You can't. You can't do that. You can't compare this game to most games. killed a lot of games. You just can't do that. Dude, do you remember the scene where you walk out of the elevator at the airport and you just open fire on everyone, like mothers, children? I was like, what the fuck? Everyone died. I was like holy shit people this was back in the day mm. people were still offended mm. back then they were like that was wild <laughs> i was like i remember it i was like i remember playing it i was we were in the lift and i was like i wonder what's gonna happen i see all those people standing there and i'm like it's gonna be one of those lame parts where you walk through the crowd and then you nope. chase someone and then the guy's like open oh, fire i was like wait hold on what are we doing <laughs> back of the box says this Modern Warfare 2 continues the gripping and heart racing action as players face off against a new threat dedicated to bringing the world to the brink of collapse. Like, yes, yes, dude, I want to know that new threat dedicated to bringing the world to the brink of collapse. Also, if you had played Call of Duty before this, you're kind of already invested. So it's a great tagline. 2024 game, flock. Another reason why it's not fucking fair. <laughs> like, what the fuck? These are bad comparisons. Terrible comparisons. Flock is a multiplayer co-op game about the joy of flight and collect <laughs> adorable flying creatures with your friends. Soar through beautiful landscapes, seeking out rare and elusive creatures to add to your flock. Like, dude, this shit is gay. Like, this is either designed for a five-year-old or it's designed for a 30-year-old gay man or it's designed for a woman. But <laughs> this is this is what I would say is a girl game. Mm. I'm not, I don't think they, I think some games are designed with a particular gender in mind, but I think when you look at this, you're like, 
this is and which is fine mm-hmm. no problem i i don't know what went into flock i don't know who produced i just it. don't agree for me i think any person can pick up this game and yeah you're more you're right in the sense that it's more likely to be a girl maybe yeah. picking this up mm-hmm. but by that definition i wouldn't say it's a girl game i would just say maybe i don't know would you maybe there's say... nothing wrong with calling it a girl game i just yeah. think it's just i don't know like if you're a little boy mm-hmm. um and you're looking for games to play that speak to you and you see a game like this and you think, yeah, you know what? It's not a shooter, but it speaks to me. Hearing other people outside being like, that's a girl game. It can really put people off. And the next thing you know, you have one less player. And it's just, why are we doing that? We yeah. don't need to be doing that. We're, we're not fucking two when we need to separate things into boys are blue and girls are pink. It's like, we can all just enjoy things and respect the fact that some things we're not going to enjoy and that doesn't mean that because we don't enjoy them other people won't find enjoyment in that yeah i can't can't be honest with you (laughs) the oddest moment on camera when i was in school there was a game that came out that was very fluffy and pink i can't remember what it was called i won't say who it was that played it i'll tell you off camera because it'll kill me but i remember me and my boys we shamed him so hard you fucking (laughs) bastard he played the game yeah and he came into school and we were all talking about i think it was street fight alpha 3 Street Fighter 3 was so hard. Okay. <laughs> we were all talking about that. And he was like, oh yeah, I was playing this game. And I was like, I won't say the word that I used. <laughs> we used some colourful language. And he ended up playing Street Fighter with us. I don't think he ever went back to that you game. You bastards. <laughs> I was a kid, okay. A, a kid that yeah, grew up the in the 90s. Yeah, but kids are the coolest. Kids, kids are, are the cool. Coolest. Kids can be cool. And if I had the knowledge that I do now, I would not have shamed him for playing the game. But I remember me and one other individual like, dude, why are you playing that? Well, it starts with you, okay? <laughs> You know, mm. I don't say girl games or boy games, just in case. I didn't say, I didn't use that word. I use it much more. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, I, said, fucking I said, dude, why are you playing that? <laughs> Play this, man. We're shooting at the Hawkins over here. What are you doing? <laughs> you never went back to the game. <laughs> Poor guy, man. It's like, Phil, you're retarded and your company is going to go out of business if you keep this up. All right, jumping back to the 2000s. This is a good one. Dark Sector 2008. Become the ultimate weapon. The virus, the source of your pain, your enemy, your power. Unleash the deadly power of the glaive and become the hero. Like, dude, there's that's the back of a box right there. Now I'm intrigued. Now I'm like, whoa, uh, a virus? My power? It looks like Metal Gear. What, is yeah, like, kind of- what is this about? I want to become the ultimate weapon. Like, in the 2000s, games were made by straight dudes. And in 2020, games are made by mostly gay men and women. Like, it's, it's that simple. It's not, though, because that's definitely not true. I know a lot of studios have been taken over by women, though. No, but, like, genuinely taken over. Like, that's just a wild thing to say. Ubisoft has. Like, it, okay, like, are we talking huge positions of power? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's awful that women are in positions of power. No, it's, it's great. <laughs> women being in positions of power, awesome. Just make sure that you're wielding your power correctly. Yeah. And... I don't know for every game. I'm not mm. going to say every game, but there's been a lot of schlock that's come out recently. I'm like, hey, let's take a look at who's making that. Now I'm like, mm. oh, I see. I don't know the ins and outs of every single one. So I'm not going to paint everybody with a brush because I know girls in the game industry. I just know that games are not made solely by one person. There are teams course. of people made up of men and women. Like, it takes multiple people to make a game. I'm not saying that, you know, women can't make bad games. They clearly fucking can. <laughs> I'm just saying that there's uh, there's been historical flops mm. um, also where no one was looking at them and saying, they're all men! It's because they're all men! Wait, no one was doing that. Is this the... I think we should just... Yeah, this is Ubisoft in Quebec. Um, zoom in with your mouse wheel. That's a lot of women. Some of them have colourful hair. No, no. I'm... <laughs> where? 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 Oh, I'm one! Right over there. One! It's Two. one! Two! Name the others. That's in fact, song. I'm not being funny, guys, but it's starting to seem to me like the problem is non-coloured hair. Yeah, yeah, I, you might be right. Okay. These voices are getting drowned yeah, out. I, I'm just saying, okay. <laughs> I'm simply um, saying. Is that, is that Ubisoft Quebec? Is this specifically a female division? or The only problem that I have with this, right? No, this is a huge problem. Like, yeah. that is a fundamentally a huge problem. Why are there only women? Why are there only women? There's no issue with women being in games because, like we said, the person that created Bayonetta, let's just be clear, is a woman. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is if we're saying, as, as players, right, 
that back in the day when studios used to be all men mm -hmm. making these games and we were saying this is terrible that there's not such you know there's not more inclusivity da, 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 da. Yeah. and then how is it how how have we done how has this happened because how have we gone tried, from that to this they've tried to overcorrect. there was no women maybe represented now they've gone too far but i don't understand how that is the next solution in your fucking mind excuse me but did you guys know what i'm talking about right yeah. like there is no way as a person hearing that criticism that you're then going to say oh the solution is clearly making them all women mm. like there's no way so how the fuck does that happen unless you're literally trying to make it fail this is the thing dude like like, the what thing the fuck is, is, is that? that? Like, if you, I am confident, yeah, that if I sort of said to you, Ellie, I want you to head up a team, and I want you to make a masculine game. Yeah. I am confident that you would hire the right people for the job. I would try, and it would definitely not be because they're fucking women or men. It would just be because they're the right person for the job. Mm -hmm. Their their work is awesome. Okay, I I don't have a problem, obviously, with seeing women in the workplace. So I know some people are gonna mm -hmm. be like, that's that's three too many, but that looks like an inclusive. Like, if this was a team, this looks fine to me. Yeah. Like, all of them are men, dude. All of them are men except these people here. The, and the and just the sight of women made you go, hmm. No, because I was looking over here first. Mm. I, got, I got attracted to the people. Mm. I had to be like, oh, okay, there's dudes here. I don't have, like I said, I ain't got a problem with women being in the workplace. I think the problem occurs when you look at something and it's all men uh, or agreed. all women. I agree and with you're you. you're like, is there some sort of exclusion? However... It's not fair that that conversation is only happening now when it's all women and it wasn't being had when we were like, hey, there's only men making these games. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Then it was so much pushback to be like, this is just this is just how it is, you know? And now we're like, well, clearly it's not because clearly women want to be in these spaces, mm. but it's just that was that was a lot. That was a lot. I like, think... it's not the solution to go all the way to the other end yeah i think well the game industry is going for a really hard time right now there's a lot of things that are coming out that are flopping and i think ultimately the the wallet is going to win here yeah so if they are hiring all of these girls in there as diversity hires and they're not mm -hmm. doing their jobs correctly they're going to lose their position so everything that these women were fighting for in the first place will be lost anyway yeah so i think as i said it's fine to have women in, in the gaming workplace there are loads of women that have done amazing things that yeah. i am, have latched onto. Um, like, for example, I know in the West now, if they were to hire a woman to do a man's voice in a cartoon, people have a problem with it. But we all know the most famous Goku. actor is Goku, right? It's done by a woman. A yeah. lot of women do voice acting. I know that because of the way things are polarised right now, if we heard that, we'd be like, hey, why is a woman doing it? Yeah. But it's not an issue with it. It's, it's how they go about it. I just think we've gotten really defensive, though, like in the sense where... They try to overcorrect, and now the crowd that don't like the overcorrection are hyper like. They're hypersensitive about yeah. it, though. And it's making the other side yeah. hypersensitive. Like, for me, clashing. this person is hypersensitive with respect. Like, I think that some of the things that they pulled out there are literally grasping at straws. The um, this whole. Are not fair. This comparisons were not fair at all, and because of that, the whole video is a non star. What yeah. can we do with that? The the other video he did was I, I quite like the other. Yeah, one. that was better. That was genuinely better. I think for a video like this, where you're trying to compare where the market has gone, you have to look at what investment was and who are developing it and de and compare those. Yeah, please like, compare, compare this to Doom, please. The new Doom. Yeah, or or, or look for how, I don't know how much Doom uh, went into making it, but look mm. for whatever is in the genre that is the equivalent to that back in the day, yeah. and we'll see how much it's changed. Agreed. And then for the indie games, like this flock thing that he yeah. was showing, we should make a video because I reckon it'd be fairer. Yeah, we could do that. We could. I could. I could have a look at what. Uh, I, it's, you could even look at games in their own genres. That like you can look at Gears One, for example, yep. and then look at Gears Five and mm -hmm. see what's changed and why people have a problem. Exactly. And or you can look at Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You can look at one of your games. I don't know which which 100%. one you want to pick. But yeah, his comparisons are not very good. In actual straight men, we want power. We want cool weapons. We want you know. I think this is a completely fair thing when you look at. Weapon the people that who are playing cool. shooters mm. and hack and slash games yeah. it's men and yeah. they want to play their manly fucking games yeah. leave them alone mm -hmm. that's not to say that women don't enjoy those games yeah. but guess what if they were enjoying them or they're a, a, an audience for you now it's because they enjoyed them before you changed anything or tried yeah. to you know um, pander to them they don't need that shit to enjoy your fucking game yeah. leave it alone 
It's like um, we said with Game of Thrones, right? Stop yeah. changing the source material. Just Please stop. Follow it. How disrespectful is that? You're going to get me off and I'm trying to do No. <laughs> of which are people who actually play video games, then you want... No, I'm sorry. We need to talk about it. <laughs> Not Game of Thrones. We need to talk about Lord of the Rings. I am, yeah, 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 I am yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. disappointed at the direction of Lord of the Rings. I... I haven't read Tolkien's books in a long time. And even then, I don't even think I finished all of them. But no, I, I, underst didn't. I understood that there was a clear message that Tolkien was trying to give with his characters. And there were no blurred lines. The Yorks did not have sympathetic backgrounds. They didn't have um, wives Yeah, and uh, Dude, I was, thinking, I was like, <laughs> what are they doing? This so fitting on the man's work. Tolkien's work is probably the greatest in all of in yeah. all of fantasy fiction. One hundred percent, I would agree with you. Well, so many things were spawned from it. Probably Game of Thrones spawned from Lord yeah. of the Rings. To take to take his work and try to make fucking sympathetic. It's crazy to me. The orcs, orcs are not sympathetic. They're fucking enemies. Yeah. There's a clear hero in Lord of the Rings. There's a clear. Villain. That's why it's such an awesome story. Yeah, it is the it is the template of all yeah. fantasy. You don't need to Game of Thrones by like. No, it was unnecessary, and that I will never ever support Rings of Power. You know. One of those things, people will say, you can't shit on something if you don't watch it. I don't need to watch that. I watched the <laughs> first season, almost to the end. Yeah. It is a Mary Sue, and that is being very polite. I'm going to watch all of it. What? <laughs> no, you should watch all yeah. of it. I think it's better to watch that so you can give a full critique. I'm not going to waste my time like that. I, I, it's, yeah. To me, it's just a disrespect on the greatest yeah. work of fantasy fiction. That yeah, we and for me, it's just um, a way to enjoy some of lord of the rings even if i don't enjoy all of it no i get it because if they bought a more combat tv show i would probably still watch it because yeah. i'm attached to the franchise but i liked tolkien's work and i like the original trilogy i like hobbit less less so like i thought mm. it was okay but the original trilogy even the director's car is just like chef's kit yeah 100 brilliant it comes from a time in cinema where they just respected the source material. I missed that. And you know what? Even when they didn't respect the source material, somehow people still enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. They were still making because constantly. They were lucky though because with Lord of the Rings, it was so like far from the books being like released or being new mm -hmm. that people didn't really care. They were just so gassed to see Lord of the Rings being made. And you the know? soundtrack was so absolutely amazing. So still... There was just way too many things done right in that film for yeah. anything they did wrong to overshadow. And it's a fucking meme right. machine as well, and for all the, the right machine. reasons. All the, you know the the uh, when when um Frodo wakes up from his bed. Oh you know, god, dude, like I love when it. Your boy just gets laid, <laughs> and, just there. and he's best smiling and laughing. It's such a they don't make films like that anymore, man. They, they don't. Just, they always gotta add some shit in there to fucking. One does not nearly walk. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the greatest meme yeah. of all time to collect adorable creatures it really comes down to that 2024 <laughs> i delicate. can't stop quoting gandalf in my head now i hate there's you. so many quotables in front of this game before a wholesome pixel art platformer cook <laughs> this looks sick keys from a vast collection of ingredients this looks awesome shop explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk I like, think I'm gay. I think I'm gay. You're not gay. <laughs> like, I like all these games that he's picking. Like, I'm gay, guys. I think the art style is very reminiscent of, like, old games. I love that. Look at that frog character. I think it's just, like, the premise of the game is not something a dude won't play. And you know what, yeah? I'm a bit of, like, I'm a bit of an art whore. Like, if it looks like this, like, I don't know. If it looks like someone really took love and care and time, mm. I am way more willing to play a game and give it a chance like this to me looks like somebody's baby yeah you're you're definitely more because you're you you've done art you still do art and all that i think you probably see stuff and try to appreciate them for what they are oh 100%. when i'm streaming and i'm doing like we're, we're waiting for video games to come on and this game comes on well i'm all right yeah of course. yeah definitely no that it. makes sense though because you're looking to be entertained like Dude, right now i yeah. did a stream and a game like this came on mm. i was like I'm not, I started talking to my stream chat and I was like, why do they keep putting these fucking games on here? And then Spark and Zero came up <laughs> and everyone was just like, I was in the toilet and I saw the stream chat. I was like, why come back? I came, I came back, I see Goku. I was like, what's going on? I thought we were looking at gay shit. <laughs> no, dude. W what the fuck? Yeah, no straight guy has ever thought, I want to deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. That is something... I know yeah, I do. Look, look, she's meeting so many different characters. She's looking at all these different places and locations. Jumping back to a classic from the 2000s, Deus Ex Human Revolution 2011. The big text says, the truth will change you. Like, 
damn, son, what truth? I have to know. What is being hidden from me? It goes on. Critically injured after a deadly attack, Adam Jensen undergoes a life-saving operation, augmenting him with powerful cybernetics. Caught in the middle of a vast conspiracy, Adam's choices will affect both himself and all of humanity as he seeks answers across the globe. Like, dude, I am See, I think, like, a fair comparison to this game Mm. would be Become Human, where, like, I think... I think it's that game. Hold on. Dude, how'd you do that? What? Open a new tab. Control. T. Opens a new tab. PC master is thinking of everything. Yeah. Oh, this game. Yeah, this. I feel like is more of a, a a solid comparison. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, it, the only problem is it's from 2018. Is what do we have a 2024? Yeah, I still I don't think. I don't know. Are, I think maybe you're right. Actually, is there a 2024 equivalent? But I think one of the one of the selling points of Deus Ex is that it is one of a kind kind of game. Mm. See, even then, like some people didn't love it back then either. I don't like it. Yeah, personally. that's I find that very interesting. Yeah, it wasn't uh, the gameplay. The the premise I thought was very interesting. Yeah, it sounds like a very interesting game. Gameplay didn't like. grip me though. Got you. Rock hard right now. Like I want to play this game. I don't want to play anything about collecting adorable creatures or delivering gay treats to people's houses. I want to play whatever Human Revolution is about. And it's funny because like I can't put my finger on exactly what made two thousands games so good. But it has. Been- I I think I can though. Like Man. I think there's just two very different things. Like when I play with my friends, I do want to play a game that's more like Left 4 Dead. You know, something that keeps you more on the edge of the seat. Na, 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 na. But if I am on my own, I'm not doing any of that. I'm, I'm a huge coward. I don't want to play those games alone. <laughs> Black Myth Recon. Dude, that's a game. Yeah. Yeah. Would you not play it? I'm going to play the Sweet Treats game. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> what single player games would you say that are like typically masculine that you would sit down and play? Oh, typically masculine. A single, a single player game. Something that you would... If, let's say that you were thinking of me, right? And you saw a game and you are like, that's a Michael game. But that I would play. That you would also play. Yakuza, probably. Oh, have you started yet? No. Wait, come on. I know. But you need to wait till I'm 40, innit? <laughs> There's going to be like 15... No, there's going to be like... They, they're announcing a new one soon. So it's going to be like the 14th There's going to be one. so many games for me to play. You're literally going to be playing them until you're grey. Don't say that. Don't play oh, games. Okay. <laughs> Something to do with men. Dude, we're dudes and we want games about dudes. And we want games about male... Tra- Guns of the Patriots is one of the greatest <laughs> games I've ever played. The ending is so satisfying, man. I'm not even going to spoil it for people. I know it came out in the PS3, but if you haven't played this game... It's just... It's I haven't almost... played any of the Metal Gear Solids. I know, don't look what? at me like that. No, don't look at me like oh that. Oh my days, dude. Okay. I've seen them mm. You around. haven't played Sneak no, Sneaky Have you heard the music? <laughs> yeah. No, I've seen like Rico Bond. play, but I've not, I've not played myself. Dude, this game is so sick. It's so gas. And then Metal Gear Revengeance with uh, Raiden, where it's like a hack and slash Metal Gear. Yeah. And the ending, you're basically fighting Mr. Anderson. And he's, he's there, like, <laughs> pumping himself with steroids, like, nano machine, son. I was like, dude, I could feel my testosterone rising. <laughs> and Joe, you know, I just, I need to show you that, that Metal Gear Revenge before we finish this video. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you got so unrealistic. Me. His trousers didn't even split. I'm already sold. Yeah. If you just showed me the snippet, I'd be able to take my money. Yeah. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you watch this. This dude's fucking beefy. Yoked. Let's go. The hell are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Played 
college ball, you know. That's some cushy Ivy League school. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I could have gone broke. I could break the present in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, What? <laughs> Are you fucking rolling him up? This fight goes on for a while, right? But he ends up like ripping off his shirt. It just gets more and more insane. Like it's batshit crazy. Fuck the media. <laughs> Who is he? He's Mr. Armstrong. He's like Donald Trump, but. <laughs> America's disease, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to He's the anti Trump. The yeah. <laughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchained! The weak will I wouldn't be say America's very tamed right now. Mm. The strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! Those shoes are terrible. What the hell are you <laughs> talking about? Wait, what did he say? He said, make America no, he did not <laughs> fucking say that. No, dude, he's literally the anti Trump. Dude, I was watching the election, yeah, and Trump said something I fucking spat my water up. He, they asked him a question, he goes, You know, Abdullah, he was the head of the Taliban. And uh, I, I said to Abdullah, Hey, you keep messing around, you're going to have problems. And, and he must have said, <laughs> Abdul, He sent a picture of Abdullah's house to him. He was like, why are you sending a picture of oh, my husband? Yeah. It was like, you're going to have to figure that one out, Abdullah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there like, what the fuck am I watching right now? I was cracking up. Oh my Lord. Can you imagine the president of a country sending a picture of you, like a drone picture, basically like, <laughs> keep talking shit. <laughs> fuck around and find out. <laughs> I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. He dusted them off. <laughs> Imagine beating someone's ass and then trying to shake their hand. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> You're not greedy. Just gay. You're batshit insane. <laughs> 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 But we cuddled! <laughs> Who looks for someone like that? Who looks? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. <laughs> Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal. Kill just to survive. But you did survive. Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. <laughs> the gameplay is so cool in this as well. Well, starting to see things my way here. Would you ever play a game like this? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Anyway, we won't spoil the ending for the... Oh yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot what it was doing. Yeah. But that, dude, that game is... That's one of those games where I'm like... It feels like a video game. Mm. Like, it's so ridiculous and over the top. Yeah. That it just... It feels like they... The only fits in a video game. Yeah. Yeah. You could do an anime out of that. Yeah, 100%. Did it on your own terms. <laughs>
transformation and identity and a man who is going through something, who is actually a man. I can't really describe what made the 2000s games so good other than that they're focused exclusively on the male psyche. Uh, because it was men playing the games. It's always been men playing the game. I can just say much. So Sony and Xbox don't realize this obvious fact and keep designing games for 14 year old girls, for women, and for gay men. 14 year old um, boys. I <laughs> what macho? I don't. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I just don't think there's a lot of them. I think the numbers are mm. very low. Because I, I think when we look at games that are still really heavily played, it's all the same shit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't disagree, but to say that you know boys that don't subscribe to the hyper masculine are mm. in the minority i don't mm. agree with that you don't think they're in the minority no i Why think, do you think the games are doing poorly then um i think that they maybe don't play the games like at all oh it's not gamers they're just not gamers and like unfortunately there's not enough of you to carry a title i don't know if that's true but mm. currently by the state of games like even the ones that are doing really really well they should speak to developers no and say to them more clearly this is the type of game that's that people want to see mm. but that's not translating they're not doing that i think I, well i mean like if we look at the games that have done well mm. i mean games cost more to develop now so we get less of them yeah but the ones that have done well we've got elden ring mm -hmm. which is a, a lot of girls play the souls yeah, games but they they've been typically populated by men agreed but a lot of girls do play them it's yeah. not predominantly um a success because of one player base it's mm. because of both it speaks to both i think that's kind of what i'm trying to to say where like if a game is going to be successful yes it does have to um tick a lot of boxes and yes maybe your box is in terms of the macho man mm. the more dominant box to tick mm -hmm. currently but that's not to say that that hasn't widened or, or broadened and they also have to be certainly not totally inclusive where like they change every character but I, I just don't think it was even necessary to necessarily change uh, the way that games were. I just think just I think the reason not playing. I, the reason I don't like this video too much mm. is that he's not picking up games that have changed. But I guess he did that before. He's picking on games that are not for me, mm. basically. I would agree if his his takes more, but the games he's chosen to show are indie games that really have no impact or bearing on no. the studios that are financing exactly. them. If anyone is fi financing them at all, exactly. If they took Kane and Lynch Deadman and they brought mm -hmm. out number two and they decided to like pussify these yes. two guys, and I'd be like, absolutely, the not. game's called Kane and Lynch yeah. Deadman. What are we mm -hmm. doing here? So I would have a problem with that. But I, the I would premise, agree with you. The, like the game we just watched, Metal Gear Rising, mm -hmm. right? You don't get much more yeah. typically macho than that. Yeah, agreed. If they took the if they took Mr. Armstrong and they decreased muscle mass by seventy mm -hmm. percent, and his talking points were they didn't sound like a, a, a anime version of Trump. Yeah, and I'd be like, hey, this is like they're parodying it. They're mm. taking the piss, you know. So it is over the top, but that's when I'd have a problem. Yeah, I, that's I don't think his the premise of his argument really sticks. It yeah. only sticks if you. If this is happening with Concords across the exactly. board and they're destroying the industry yes, by financing exactly. this. But then maybe there's an argument that there's too many of these small games being financed that are piling up and making a dent, not on their own, but together. That's what I'm speculating, but yeah. potentially. What do you mean? Let's say that there's, feel? let's say that uh, Phil Spencer and Microsoft finance uh let's say they finance 50 indie games got you and none of them are particularly good or they're popular. played yeah they're played by people here and they're like a very niche audience but and, because they finance those 50 games they're now unable to finance something yeah. that would be of better interest that's where a problem could occur i completely agree with you yeah but in the example that we just found or in the examples that we kind of found here we saw that that's actually not the case we don't know currently whether or not those big studios are also making several mini games or indie games but mm -hmm. what we do know is that the games that were presented here as direct comparisons on the xbox storefront are all indie games mm -hmm. from what we saw yeah so it's definitely not a fair comparison at the very least yeah because yeah. i don't think kayla lynch is not an indie game no i i truly think xbox is going to go out of business and sony will go out of business if they don't figure out who their audience is quickly 2024 game, Chia, a tropical open world adventure. 
Take control of any animal or object you can find and jam on your fully playable ukulele. Like, no, dude, this just sounds like some cozy garbage trash game. Like, if I wanted to, if, if, if I wanted to chill out and do nothing, I would just go do something besides play a video game. But when I play a video game, I want to have like an intense experience. I don't want to have some cozy trash experience. Um, so my only thinking with this is that Xbox seems to think that their target is gay men, five-year-olds, and women. Um, but the super obvious fact, as I've said it again and again, is that their audience is full of 30-year-old dudes. So like at this point, I just think Xbox is probably going to go bankrupt because... Yeah, I think I hear that point more. Yeah, that so do I. Xbox are funding all these games, but the people that are predominantly buying Xbox oh, are... You so you know, I it's completely a bit like, agree with that. What are we doing? See, that's an argument I can 1,000% get, get yeah. behind. But when you turn around and you say the pussification of games mm. Mm, and you give me those comparisons, I'm going to tell you you're full of shit. Yeah, I think the premise of his argument started really poorly. It's yeah. more, it seems more like tongue in cheek almost. It's... Yeah, just just to be inflammatory for the yeah. sake of it, you know, just to be a little bit. I think I don't have a problem with these games existing. I, I think the problem would occur with the, how many of them exist, how well are they doing, what yeah. impact is their presence having on the industry? Yes, I agree with you. I um, think that, that there's definitely a broader conversation to be had there if the impact is, you know, clearly translating to a bigger problem. Yeah. But I think um, currently having more games and having more people play games is never going to be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And not for me personally. Like, like I said, it's not like um, they're coming to Tekken and demanding that these um, that these characters are changed to fit them and what they would feel you know that's not happening they're very much like these are new games and they're either going to pick them up or they're not yeah some will survive some won't and unfortunately or rather fortunately we live in a, a time where anyone can make a game and that's also that's a very very good thing but it's mm. also a bad thing yeah one thing i have noticed though that indie developers that produce games mm. like if we open up my steam account here yeah. People that people like you and me that produce games, they seem to be producing games like I would play. Hmm. I've I've noticed on Steam like look, I I buy a lot of horror games. Yeah. I love horror games. By the way, I need to get on here to play some of these. I'm scared. Stairs, I'm terrifying. scared. But when I go through Steam and I look at the the games that they produce, there's games like this: Shaolin vs. Mm. Wu Tang, mm. Shaolin vs. Wu Tang Two, yeah. uh, Devour. Uh, these games all do really well. There's Among Us, which is, is everyone plays it. Uh, there's Blameless, mm. Chained Together, which again, this is hilarious. This is so funny, dude. You this would looks love this. fun. Get, if you get on your PC, I'll play it with you. It's, it is fucking Yeah, great. we should do that. The premise of this game is you are chained up together and yeah. you're at the bottom of hell and you've got to work your way up into heaven. But if I jump, it. remember I'm both. chained yeah. to you, so <laughs> we've, got to, we've got to play it together. Um, there's Clown House. Like, there's there's no. a lot of games. No. You've, got to, you've got to play it. <laughs> When I go through Steam and I, I look at their games, yeah, there's games like this, but people yes. people like me and you that uh, play games, they seem to be developing the games that I would like. It mm. doesn't it seem these these pretty looking games that the guys are referring to seem to be getting financed by the big studios. And I think maybe his wording is poor, but there might be a, a conversation to be had there. Why so, are you funding these games? When we went right here. It very much tells you who is the publisher and who is the developer. Mm. We don't know this person. Like, we don't know this developer. By the looks of it, they've developed one games. One games. <laughs> then this game released on what? July 18th. No, what what um console did it release on? 2024. Looks like a PC game to me. Steam tags. Well, it's got Steam tags, so it's definitely PC. Store link is PC um, as well. Steam. Uh, oh, yeah. So I think, based on PC stats alone, mm. again, why are we comparing just seeing standalone PC games to games that have been released on like every console? Yeah. Um, but yeah, do you see what I mean? Like the publisher was Curve Games. We can look it up. Curve Games have forty-one games, all in all, and two in development. That's not a huge uh, developer. Mm. Do you know what I mean? A oh, publisher, sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think his examples weren't the best. I think if we found like genuine publishers no because like some studios publish their own games yeah. do you know what i mean some people don't even use a publisher but so. then uh, my xbox would have to host them i don't know what that those costs are mm. if they're on the xbox because these games were on the xbox marketplace where you got them 
So I don't know what it costs to host these games because they're not going to do it for free. Yeah, but it wouldn't it wouldn't cost us anything. It wouldn't cost it's us. It's costing anything. the developer or, or you know the publisher to essentially have them up. And oh, if they're not true. selling them, if they're not selling the game, then they'll just take them down. Yeah, that's true. And the only downside is really to the people that were already playing that game and did find it enjoyable, mm. and maybe there wasn't enough to keep it up, and the game dies. Yeah. But that's that's um, what's the word I'm looking for. That's the cycle. That's uh, the circle of life. You yeah. Know? I mean, I guess we're going to see what really happens in the next three years because they've brought out games that they've, uh, that they've, some of these places have really shit on them, like Black Myth. And I think Black Myth is like almost over 17 yeah, million now, which is just like insane numbers. Elden Ring, Baldur's Gate. Uh, yeah. These like games that are very, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even use the word traditionally masculine. They're just like, you see them and you're like, oh, that's a video game. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like they're trying to, force something on you or pandle or anything it feels like the game is just made of a lot of love they keep putting stuff like this out all right and let's look at the final game here that i found from the 2000s and it is called the chronicles of riddick assault on dark athena you already know this box is about to go hard at the top it says in big letters there is power in darkness see like men we want power no, that's just oh, wow. fucking rad. I, I think that's the thing. Like, I think people see that and they're like, it's for men because it's fucking gritty. And it's like, no, like well, everybody loves a bit of grit. We all love we it. We do love a bit of grit. But I, I think it'd be fair to say that when you create characters that are like seeking power, like Dante and Virgil. No. Guys are going to be like, oh, but there'll be girls that be like, oh, that's cool. No, they're going to be girls that are like, yeah, fuck yeah. I think that's it's, the I problem. Think it's more, more a male thing. Agreed. But, but I think that we're just, we're not being a little bit only men are like loving the grit and it's like clearly no i don't think only men i think predominantly men okay like look at dragon ball for example i know you grew up watching it as Mm -hmm. well but you're probably fair to say that most of the people you interacted with when you were growing up were guys that were yeah agreed and when you look at dragon ball you can see why there's a bulky dude going ah (laughs) it's sick to you but you show that to most girls and they're like (laughs) I show it to mom. She's like, shut that shit off, man. The guy's just shouting. It doesn't. She doesn't get. You don't get understand. It. She doesn't get. It. She doesn't understand. She just sees this big alien guy shouting his head off. But for me, I'm like, he's speaking to me right now. He's building boy. He, he's, Let him cook. That's a language. Let him cook. And I understand every word. <laughs> <laughs> and domination and conquering. Understand your audience, guys. Below that, it says a dark, intense shooter set in an epic sci-fi world. This is all things we want. We want darkness. We want intensity. We want shooting. And we want sci-fi. Riddick, Riddick brings the darkness with stealth action and brutal melee combat. And then for the first time, play as Riddick in multiplayer on System Link or online. Below that, it says, Be Riddick, the most ruthless criminal in the universe. In his latest chronicle, Riddick has been captured by the Dark Athena, a mercenary ship hell-bent on eliminating him once and for all. Using his intense hand-to-hand combat skills, explosive firepower, and lethal stealth, Riddick must shut down the maniacal Captain Ravos and her deadly crew when Riddick steps into the darkness. No one is safe. Like, dude, (laughs) don't you want to play that game? Darkness, power, prison. um, these, These describe the kind of games that guys, that men, that straight men want to play. <laughs> it's just sad to see the video game industry completely bottoming out and completely dying. Dude, some gamers are women and they want to play girl games. That's why they exist. I don't know what he wants people to say. Like, uh, well, both think... can fucking exist. Like, I'm sorry that developers are not making the games you want to play. It's fucking our time now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I think what a good thing to do of this uh, video would be to look at where the amount of money is being sent yeah. and what kind of games are being developed from it because we it's still true that the gaming industry is heavily dominated by men yeah. and um, they drive the uh, sales with these games mm. so i think if we were to look at a pie chart and 70 percent of the funds are going towards these kinds of games and there's just loads of them so it's hard to really know which ones are taking up the bulk then i'd say we've got a big problem here because that's not your core base your core base is the 30% that you're neglecting. And that's probably why you're seeing such a decline in games right now. It's not to say this shouldn't exist, yeah. but it might need to be flipped and 30% of the fund should be sent that way and 70% to the games that are like Elden Ring I or get Black you, Myth. But you see when we was looking at those indie games and you saw how much money they were making. Yeah. 
like for very little investment. Mm. Like I'm just thinking that that's what they're seeing. I think they're, this guy's they're... chosen bad, bad games. Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. You know, because I'm sure that the majority of indie games are not doing that well. Yeah. But um, because it's not not that they're not doing that well. It's just that the numbers won't necessarily compete with bigger games. Just on the virtue that they're indie. You know? Yeah, my issue is not with indie games anyway. Yeah. My issue is with games from small developers, like I think they're called Firewall, that made Concord and places like, yeah, we're going to bankroll you. Yeah. Why are you bankrolling that? that? Yeah, like, yeah. Bankroll, bankroll game science. Which... The game science are the one making games that everyone wants to play, yeah. clearly. They had, what, 30 people working on the game and a tiny budget yeah. and it sold 17 million. You must be kicking yourself. Yeah. So I think that a better conversation would be let's find out how many how much money is being sent to games that no one's playing versus uh, just regular indie games that maybe they don't appeal to the traditional male, yeah. but they still have a right to exist on the store. Absolutely, front. they do. I agree. Another thing that I think is causing a big problem here is games journalists. Games journalists are some of the most disingenuous hacks. A lot of them just want to be a political uh, commentators and they want to cover political things and every single time a game comes out they have to make it political they have to make it political they have to put some shit in there like with wukong there were chinese uh man i think they're speaking mandarin or Cantonese. i'm not sure but they were speaking their language yeah. telling ign and the people that were mistranslating game science they translated saying that the guy in game science is that he wants to hire people so they can make him erect and lick him when what? they translated it from chinese but when the chinese YouTube was like, no, when you translate it, it comes out wrong because it's a contextual language. Yeah. They translate it saying, I'm nervous to hire people because I don't want people to praise me too much. IGN decided Literally to, to lick my ass, basically. IGN yeah, I get decided it. to run with the fake one That's and published crazy. loads of articles. People kept on re uh, repeating it over That's and over. crazy. And I was like, there's an agenda here. Yo, because Chinese is a very dangerous language. <laughs> it's same with Japanese, though. They have words yeah, context. that... Yeah, like, they, the context really, really matters. matters. And when they do things like that, it kills the trust that we have in them. Yeah. The trust in games journalists is all gone now. If a games journalist, if I go onto IGN and they have shat on a game... I'm sorry, but who's even looking at that? Like, with respect, I think that it's defensiveness because they're a dying... Yeah, they're, they're a dying, dying breed. breed. Yeah. Like, realistically, mate, no one's looking or going to you for game news. They're yeah. going to their favourite YouTubers to yeah. find out, you know, what their take on this game is. Yeah, it's just true. Games journalists, and I think that's why they're very threatened by yeah. people like Asmongold. Your job's dead, mate. No offence. That he, like, if Asmongold shits on, I saw him basically say that they should pay him, um, they should pay him to not speak about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, sorry, they should pay him to not play a game because if the game is shit, he's going to rip yeah. it. Yeah. And because he's got such a large, large audience, they're going to be like, oh, this game is shit. <laughs> this game blows, yeah. It's racketeering, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, like, the thing is with these games journalists is that they take a game that we can all clearly see is shit. Blows, it was yeah. made with no love. It's yeah. just, it's got a, a big franchise name. Yeah, it's a cash cow. And we can all see that. And then you give it nine out of 10, and we're like, yeah. Are we supposed to take to be seriously? fair, though, you know what? It's it's become the movie industry. Yeah, it has. It's become the movie industry. I'd even argue worse at some, yeah. at some oh, point. Oh, one hundred percent. It this just I think there's it's worse because with the stuff that you see in the cinema, mm. it's very much like you know what you're getting. You're going in for the same experience. You're going to be sat in a chair and you're in for a ride, mm -hmm. right? And depending on what genre you choose. But with games, you are in the driver's seat. Yeah. Your decisions very much are your own, yeah. you know? So I, I just feel like that's why it's so much worse when it's come to games now. It's easier to pull the wall over people that watch movies as well because yeah. not all of them are terminally online. True. Gamers are online. Yeah. So, so if you say something online, gamers are going to see it. <laughs> yeah. And there's no way to escape it. Because they're they're chasing audiences that don't exist. Um, gay men don't play your games. Kids don't play Xboxes. Women no, I agree with that. Xboxes. That was my point in the first video we made. Do you remember? What? Where it's like, I'm sure that there are a lot of homosexual people that play games. There's tons. It's probably huge. But you're still only 3% of the population. Yeah. So how big can that really be? And yeah. how proportionate is, or can you say, your representation of that demographic is in your game if it's the dominant one yeah oh yeah no you're, you're completely right um and i think that's the problem like they're, they're pandering to an audience that isn't there and also in that three percent there's a lot of gay dudes that are like we don't like these games. yes like, we i've like told you that masculine games. and also we don't want to be pandered to it's yeah. just it's, it's insulting. fucking insulting like stop it before this was like a woke thing to do you know to pander to 
you know, your um, minorities, mm -hmm. which is a, such a shame because, like, realistically, there were still great TV shows, great films, movies, blah, 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 that had those things in them, mm -hmm. but they weren't the main part of the story. People still felt represented because, yeah, like, realistically, you're not going to see... 10 gay people walking down your street yeah it's not as common as it seems to be in a game yeah and that's and it a, seems to be very overwhelming like very days. shoved down your throat um when i just i just don't think in real life it's actually like that yeah i don't think it's like that you know but that's being reflected in the cells these games yeah. are not doing very well and all these companies need to wake up and freaking realize that straight dudes are playing these games and they need to be making games for us so developers, if you are listening, give us manly games, give us power, give us darkness, give us violence, give us brawny buff dudes who beat the crap out of people with our sick powers. And if y'all do this, if y'all quit being pussies, if y'all quit pussifying the game industry and actually give us manly games, we will buy games again. I do but agree with just that industry, last point though. Like, yeah. I agree with his overarching point mm. that I, I completely agree that there is not necessarily the pussification of video games, but mm. it's more like the diversification, the over diversification of video games. Yeah, where it's like you're going a bit too far. You're making the main character someone who doesn't actually even exist in the real world. Yeah. Or maybe they do, but it's such a niche, it's a you niche. know, That's the problem. like so your game is not going to sell to the overarching like. There's no, there's essentially no market for it. Yeah. If I sell a million PlayStations and a hundred of them are bought by dudes that like the games that he was showing, they don't exist. Yeah. In yeah. terms of the business, numbers they are don't speaking exist. and then the numbers yeah. are not there. The know? thing is that I encourage game developers to keep doing what they're doing because yeah. they're going to die out if they keep doing this and new people will come in, they'll see what's going on, they'll be like, well, the thing we're is, a business, we don't want to die out. So. Yeah. And I, the thing is, I'm not even necessarily too sure that that's actually what would happen, that these games would necessarily die. But at the very least, like, it would teach them that, okay, maybe this is too far one way. Maybe I just need to take it a couple of steps back. Do you see mm. what I mean? Maybe I ne need to include a little bit of this. It's trial and error to the point where eventually, maybe down the line, um, the people who make Creatures of Avar are actually making the next um, big, you know, MMORPG or whatever. Mm. You know, we don't know. I think this the, is the start of their journey as indie developers. I think the sad thing about this when it comes to Xbox and my, PlayStation mm -hmm. is that the one these them funding these kinds of games, not, not necessarily the people doing it on their own, yeah. they're costing people their jobs because yeah. there's been a lot of layoffs recently. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in uh, different studios, Firewalk, I think, is basically shut down mm -hmm. now. And if I was a boss and I hired these people, I'd be like, listen, guys, I understand what you want to make, yeah. but listen to the crowd. Look, look at what's selling. You need to make those games. If you don't like it, there's the door. Somebody else will make it. Yeah, but because I've got an, I've got employees to think about. Yeah, but yeah. they live in this echo chamber where they're like, yeah. no, these these games are going to sell, and then they mm. come out and they're like, oh, it's the right wing. Actually, you think all yeah, gamers are right wing true. or something? Yeah, We're not. True. We just don't like being fed slot. And actually, the I think the majority of gamers don't aren't even into politics like that. Like not, they don't they don't want politics in their games. They like, want it sat like the, the satire in this is clearly like politically yeah, driven. Yeah, but that's it's fine. Clearly, it's like, satire. It's satire. Like they're yeah. taking the piss, and it's not done in a way no. to make people that support Trump feel like exactly. idiots. Exactly. I think there's enough for both, you know, to poke fun at each other, and that's an important middle point. Yeah, it's like when we watched Barbie, right? We enjoyed it. Yeah, because I, it yeah, didn't. I, really I didn't feel that. like I was being attacked. Yeah, I don't think you felt that. Like no, you were being attacked. hell no. Like even at times when like <laughs> she went on that run, I was like, <laughs> "This is so girl bossy. Yeah. It's so funny." I was sitting there cringing. Going, yeah, oh, I know. In it, it's so cringe, but it's jokes because it's cringe. Yeah. So I, I think that. I think what we'll see moving forward in the next couple of years is that I think there's going to be a lot of game developers that are going to wake up and realize that what worked yeah. before is going to work now. That's not to say that the indies should, the people that are making the games these reference should disappear. But if they're being sent majority of the resources and the comeback is not very good, then they need it's to... It's not worth it, man. You need to rethink. It. Absolutely. So that's, that's, our, that's our take on it. Anything you want to add? Um, yeah. No. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I am late to this guy's party, so. But. And uh... I need to cook. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you very soon. Take care and peace. Little baby, he's running like a foot. He's more like a little Dorito. Dorito. Why do you smell like a Dorito?
You smell like the sun has been on you for a long time. Boop. Go on. Right, so I haven't, I haven't actually seen this video. I have no idea what it's about. I saw the title, I saw loads of people talking about it and I thought it would be good to react to. Are you already filming? Yeah. Camera Why do you do this to me every time? Well, <laughs> Why do you do this to me every time? I'll, I'll just edit it. <laughs> okay. No one's going to see anything. What did you do? Nothing. Are you picking your notes? No, I would, no. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, I, I had that. You. you did what? Huh? You picked your notes? No, I so said, do I need to? Possibly. Oh, it's a nose ring. My bad. <laughs> I'm joking. You see me face to face. <laughs>